jaw, the TMJ, this temporomandibular joint here, which allows for you to eat, talk, do all these other functions that require the mouth. Often what can happen is that this TMJ joint can sometimes become stuck. It can sometimes lose its normal motion, but it can also lose its normal strength, which paves the way for instability here, pain, discomfort. From an upper cervical perspective as well, which is these top two bones in the neck, often malocclusion issues, so the ability of the jaw to track normally, can affect the upper cervical spine and create pain and discomfort here. So we're gonna show you some quick exercises that you can start doing, not only to help jaw pain, but to help strengthen the jaw so that it becomes more resilient to the stress and strain that may be placed on it. So the first exercise that we're gonna show you is a simple jaw opening. But with this, we're gonna get you to place your tongue behind your top two teeth here. So poking the tongue up to the teeth, and then all you're, we're gonna get you to do, I'll do it without having my tongue there. All we're gonna get you to do is open your mouth and close, doing that 12 times. So tongue up, and then It looks a bit strange, but by positioning the tongue there, we're activating different musculature around this region whilst maintaining normal biomechanics as guided by the tongue. So the next exercise with the jaw is we're gonna do resisted jaw opening with your thumb coming up underneath the chin and then opening the mouth 12 times while applying a light to moderate pressure. So nothing too intense, just a pressure there and then opening the mouth. Repeating that 12 times, you will feel the musculature through here contracting. Here's a side view of that exercise. So thumb underneath the jaw. With these exercises, if possible, to do them in front of a mirror, that way you can assess and make sure that the jaw is tracking straight and not doing any lateral rotation or big angular motions. The next exercise we're gonna do is really gonna stress the jaw muscles. So doing 12 of these from side to side, forward and back. But if you feel like you're really fatiguing the jaw and if you're getting any significant popping or crackling through here that is painful, stop immediately. But all you're gonna do, it's gonna look a bit odd as well, is getting a pen or a pencil or a chopstick, ideally a wooden chopstick, is pen in between the cup and the bottom here. And then you're gonna Take the jaw one way, one way, one way, one way, repeating that 12 times. It'll look something like this. And then similar thing with the pen in the mouth or the pencil and taking the jaw forward and back. And then back. While that looks funny, have a go. You'll actually find that it really sort of fatigues these muscles, but builds that strength that's necessary. And the pen facilitates an optimal joint opening that allows it to glide in the correct planes. The last exercise is once you've sort of mastered those previous exercises there, this is gonna be a resisted push against the jaw. If you're struggling with these prior exercises, don't try this exercise because it may cause more irritation to the jaw than, than necessary. So opening the mouth and then with your hand pushing lightly, so not too firmly like this, but just with enough pressure and then with the jaw pushing against it and holding for 10 seconds, repeating, holding for 10 seconds in the other direction and repeat that two times, so the 40 seconds in total for each side, um, that'll really sort of work on these isometric muscles to help keep things nice and engaged. So those are those jaw exercises. If any of them cause pain or discomfort, stop immediately. If you're finding that it's causing loud clicks, pops, or any form of locked jaw, also stop immediately, come in, consult with us. Let's make sure that the jaw is within a relatively okay range for you to be adding those exercises in. The last bonus little, not so much exercise, but muscular release, is just gonna work on this region here. So opening your mouth and with your thumbs, lightly pressing in here. And then as you close your mouth, stretching through the front of the face here and then releasing there. Uh, 
like that, repeating that six times, you'll actually find that that's a really nice effective release at breaking up some of this tense musculature in through the front.